Yo guys, TTZ here, welcome back to a brand new video, and it's the first video of 2021. How is everyone doing? I hope you're doing well. Today we're doing a setup tour, and I will be going over my new controller settings and sensitivity, because I have changed those a little bit. And uh, yeah, let's get on with it. The first thing to note is that I've obviously uh, got a PC now. Uh, I got one for Christmas, very luckily. Uh, I do feel very uh, happy about that, obviously. Uh, so we've had to move a few things, so my rim does look a little bit different. But um, yeah, here we go. So first of all, we're going to start with the music keyboard, which is actually the Nectar Impact LX49+. Plus. Um, I, used to use a lot, I used to use this a lot uh, when I did my music uh, GCSE, but not as much anymore, but I kind of want to get back into using it. Um, below it, we have the PC. Now this is temporary. Um, we don't want to leave it here. But um, yeah, it's here for now. And um, until we can get a better spot for it, it's going to live here. Uh, and please ignore the cables. Um, yeah, I've got terrible uh, cable management. And you don't need to tell me. So uh, we got a standard Xbox controller with two control freaks, one battle royale and one galaxy. Now I do have a Liverpool like skin thing. As you can see, uh, I got given up for Christmas. Uh, I don't really support anyone in the Premier League, so <laughs> it's all good. I got given it from one of my best friends. So if you're watching this, shout out to you. You know who you are. Uh, on the back, I've actually got some base. I've got some paddles. So yeah, uh, these are the the Strike Pack Eliminator uh, paddles. Uh, they're not even like paddles. They're kind of buttons that you can press on the back. Uh, just with a standard controller. Because if you didn't know, guys, I actually did use a scuff. Which is under here. Uh, let me just go get it. I, I did use this scuff controller, um, you know, perfectly fine. But the, you know, the bit where you plug in the controller, that, that's actually broken. Uh, so it's actually unusable. Um, hopefully we can get it repaired because I actually really like this controller. Um, but I have adapted to the just standard Xbox controller. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna stick with the uh, Xbox controller, um, but we'll see. Uh, moving over, we've got the HyperX Cloud Stinger headset. Uh, this is a very good headset. I've had this for quite a while now. Uh, HyperX, very good company. Do recommend these headset. Very nice. Just my phone. No, just pretty standard phone. iPhone. iPhone 6, I think it is. Pretty cool. Um, keyboard. I don't actually know the name of the keyboard. I just know it's from Red Dragon. I don't know. My friend Binis, uh, you guys probably know him. He gave, me, gave it me like a few years ago. No, not even a few years ago, sorry, like last year uh, at college, because, yeah. Um, got the mic, which is a tenor mic. I got this from Amazon, uh, so yeah. Got my laptop, where I used to, where I stream. I still stream off this. Uh, I use this mainly just for my streaming. So I use an Elgato, which is underneath my desk. I'm not going to show it, because one, it's dark, and two, yeah, I'm just not going to show you. Show it. Uh, I got two lights. So I got one over here, uh, and I got one here, which I'm actually using. Um, I don't know what they're called, actually. They're, qu they're newer. They're newer. Um, they're from Amazon. Uh, fairly cheap. Got the polos, you know. If you know me, I love my polos. Uh, yeah, can't complain with a good polo. Uh, got a Steel Series mouse mat, which is cool, because, you know, PC gaming. Then we got two mouses. So the black one, this is the one I used to use. Um, mouse buttons are worn out, and the scroll wheel is uh, is very inconsistent. Uh, I got this from Amazon a few years ago. There's the box if you're interested. It's very cool. And then we got the white one, RGB. I got this actually quite recently. Actually, I got this very recently. Um, so that's nice. Another one from Amazon. Love my Amazon Prime. Uh. Yeah, not an actual like proper mouse, but it, it's nice and it does stuff. Then obviously you got the monitor, the uh, the main monitor that I now use. It's the BenQ Mobius monitor. Uh, I don't actually know. I don't, I don't know the size. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. I don't know the size. But it's a very nice monitor. 144 hertz, one millisecond uh, response time. Very nice. And then I got. Logitech C90 um, webcam. I'm pretty sure that's what it's called. If it's wrong, then I'll, I'll put it on the screen. 
got myself a nice Fortnite calendar because you know why not that was just a Christmas gift um, yeah and that's pretty much everything about my setup so now I'm going to go over my controller settings that I've updated and my controller sensitivity that I'm currently on also uh, something I forgot to mention I do use Streamlabs OBS uh, for my streaming um, so yeah I use Streamlabs OBS very good uh, streaming uh, software so, what well, I just record on I stream from it obviously on my Twitch, twitch.tv forward slash tz underscore Anthony, that is my Twitch. And then we're going to go over my settings right now. So obviously 144 hertz. I use Prononope Pro, Pro 10. It's just nice, I guess. Uh, epic view distance, everything medium. Uh, these settings, kind of just general stuff. I heard basically everything on 100%. Now we've got my settings. So I actually use 2.3, 2.3. Uh, 48488. I think I was on pretty similar settings last time I did a settings video. Um, but yeah, these are my updated settings. I was on phase sway settings like a lot recently. I was on 4949, 2.3, 2.4. But um, I lowered it just a little bit. Uh, and yeah, it's, it's quite nice. Uh, keep Alright, this is my controller settings. So I have left stick edit, uh, right on the stick on the crouch and then pretty standard binds I think now this is one thing I did change recently is the trap picker is on right stick now with this controller right I showed you with the eliminator strike pack for some reason like I just like accidentally hit the the so let me show you guys real quick let me show you guys so this bottom paddle here like I would always like accidentally press it and I had that set to trap picker place and reload. Now that's the point part. I wanted it reload, but I also had trap picker in place. So every time I had bounces, and I, I, I accidentally pressed that, and I just placed loads of bounces before. If you've watched my stream recently, uh, you will definitely notice, notice I placed a lot of random bounces. So yeah, that was why. So I finally figured out how to switch that. Uh, and fix that so yeah i'm on the generic uh platform uh but if there is any other video ideas that you kind of want me to do i can always do them just leave them in the comment below or dm me on discord instagram anywhere i will uh happily take uh video ideas and uh try and do them because i do want to start uploading more to youtube because i feel like youtube is a really good platform um so you know grow out your content and do whatever you want to do but yeah that's the end of this video guys first video of 2021 and uh hopefully we get some more epic content out there for you guys so i'll see you guys soon see you later guys